Something else when you're aligning things it's gonna help you out is your grid. You need to view your grid. So if you guys go into view, so that's on the top right here, going to view, then go down, you're gonna see show grid. So it's almost all the way in the bottom. It's gonna say show grid and that's my grid. So that's just for you to see. It's not a grid that's gonna print out or if you guys export this, you're not exporting the grid out. You can, by the way, there's ways to do that, but this is just for you, for your own reference. So you guys can actually align things a little bit more easy if you have a grid, especially if you're going to view, and you can snap to grid. So see this option? Uh, here are the short, shortcuts, by the way. I'm just showing you the long way so you know what you're doing. So snap to grid and go on, and this is gonna snap right into our grid. And there we go. So that's another way to align things manually, and this will help us out. We can always go into view, and hide our grid, and there we go. Now, if you created a bunch of shapes, again, I showed you that, just select them, press Command G, and uh, we can just click anywhere, and you can move them all together. And then Shift Command G to ungroup them, so you can just press on one individually and move it out of there. So once we get into more complicated shapes, we've got this kitty cat that I made. It's a little bit more complex. You guys will be able to manage this and edit it a lot easier now that you guys know how to handle the Pathfinder and adjust things. All right, so if you ever have to edit a shape like so, you're gonna understand that sometimes when you click on it, it might be all grouped together. You might not be able to click on individual things. It's all gonna move together. But if you ungroup it, so let's select it and ungroup it with Shift Command G, then you can select individual parts and just change them up. So I can take this out, for example, I can put it back in, I can change the color just by going there, make it darker, maybe I want it darker, click out, and there you go. So especially, especially when you're messing around with other artwork or artwork that was handed to you, now you guys know how to edit that stuff because now you know ungrouping, grouping, and changing your colors as well. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.